I just got back from Disney and it's time that we talk about Disney adults. It, it really needs to be discussed because here's the deal. I saw so many Disney adults on my um, vacation. People who were not children, who were very excited to be at Disney. And the worst part about Disney adults is the people who hate Disney adults. Now, I'm not a Disney adult, like, at all. I am wearing a Disney shirt because my shirts that I ordered for Disney came after Disney, and I still think they're cute, so I'm going to wear them. I need to talk about a situation that I witnessed pertaining to Disney adults, and I'm very upset about it. We were in line for our transport. Our transport was taking forever because we were a value resort because cheap bitches, and we're not spending the money on, you know, getting priority or anything like that. So we were waiting for about 45 minutes in line and we were waiting with this gentleman who I would probably assume he would self-describe as a Disney adult. And he has on a Disney shirt and he has Disney tattoos all over. And he was sharing with my kids some of his pictures that he has taken at Disney World um, over the years. So he has, it's something he really enjoys is to go to Disney. And he goes once a year, every year, and he really likes meeting characters. And he takes all the pictures. And he was telling us all about Disney. Because I told him, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. And um, he was very kind to us the entire time we were in line. And he was telling us all the best places to eat. And all the best places to go. And all the things to see. And um, my kids are really excited. And we got on the bus with this guy. He was talking to another family who was in front of us. And showing them pictures of Disney. And he's just really excited to be there, right? And this other family, while they're talking to him, to his face, being kind, not so kind behind his back. And this is what I want to talk about. Since when is it like okay to start taking pictures of strangers in public and then sending them to your family group chat so that you guys can all make fun of this person while he's right sitting next to you? So this man is like, kitty corner from me and the family he's talking to is directly in front of me and my husband is witnessing this family taking photographs of this man and talking shit about him for how excited he is to be at Disney and last I checked we were all on a bus heading to Disney together and I'm just not sure when that became an appropriate thing to do if you're a Disney adult and that's something that brings you joy more power to you you're like literally not hurting anyone why do we feel the need to like hate what other people love and really if everybody liked the same thing like how fucking boring would it be my husband likes anime a lot I like tiktok a lot and no one's going around making fun of us for that shit um I'm putting on makeup because I'm meeting my brand new baby niece who was born just before we left for Disney but she was born and had to go into the NICU so I didn't get a chance to meet her because I had norovirus before we went to Disney and um that's my tart lip plumper. I love it. I'm obsessed with it. And I'm not normally like a sticky lip person. Um, and I want to look pretty for the baby. I don't know why people feel the need to hate on things people like. Like if it's something that brings somebody else joy, why are we hating on it? It's not hurting anyone. If it was hurting someone, sure. But this guy was just like genuinely having a good time, excited to be there. Like he wasn't being rude or weird. There was no vibes that I was getting that was telling me that this is not a good situation. That's fake awake. It really opens my eyes. Ride or die, sadly, because I love it. I say sadly because if this trio deal with where I get the fake awake, the lip stuff and this ever goes away, I'm not gonna be able to afford it, but I'm gonna use it for now because makeup doesn't last forever, so I might as well use it. And it makes my eyelashes so long and it stays for days. Um, I just don't know why we feel the need to hate on other people. Why are we tearing other people down for things that they enjoy? Why are we trying to make people feel bad about what they like? And why are we doing it in front of people? And like also, I just, I really hope that when my kids grow up, they don't walk around doing stuff like that and feeling so comfortable to take photos of strangers in public and like send them off. And look, I know I'm cringy and I know people talk shit about me all the time. It would still hurt my feelings if I knew that somebody like right in front of me is making fun of me. But I guess the only saving grace here is that that guy never knew that those people were being assholes um, because they were texting it to each other. Like, honestly, if you want to talk shit, just wait till you get off the bus. You know what I mean? Like, why are you doing it right there? And the only reason we could see it is because they were holding their phones up to their face. So we're right behind them. So we can obviously read what they're 
saying do I look cute enough to meet a baby should I do something with my hair is she gonna like me I don't know I'm literally just in like a Disney shirt and sweatpants but that's the look